Welcome back to Dungeons and Ale. My name is Benny. That is Andy. That is Houston. I wasn't looking at magic cards when we started. It was porn. <laughs> <laughs> Better. And that is Dan. We are a group that likes to play Dungeons and Dragons game. We do improv comedy. One of us is good at it. I'll let you figure out which one. Hi. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's your boy, Houston. I like how you sounded drunk. All right. This is me. Well, that's what we he filled is the alcohol guy. at the start of this. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. I totally drank it. <laughs> you oh. should go get one of those canned drinks upstairs. They're upstairs. Go I'm get downstairs. One. No. Oh. <laughs> it's true. It's got that a is, point. Yeah, yeah. The I mean, stairs are the challenge. That is true. Yeah. This is a continuation of our bard campaign known as Behind the Music. Uh, I'm not going to do our usual intro where I pretend to be the weirdly not British but kind of trying to be British guy that I try to be. But I tried to be. <laughs> well, because why would... Okay. We, we're because in the middle of it. We can, we're in the middle of it. The, right. the current story. Yes, right. but it's the future. So technically that can take place anytime. Welcome in back to Behind the, story, the Music. Episode 943. <laughs> I am sitting here with... What's the name of your band at this point? Didn't we end up in the Dragon's Balls? Is it Dragon Frank Balls? Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trust me. It's going to be a big hit in the future. <laughs> Like, really far in the future. <laughs> At this point in our story, I do believe that you are trying to find a way to enter the portal to have uh, sexual relations with a dragon. Say it like it is. Bang a dragon. Say it like it is. Cuddle? Cuddle? <laughs> and uh, you are currently trying to find a way up and over or through a mountain. You chose to go through the mountain because there was a potentially magical instrument. Do you still have that on you, Silvercock? <laughs> yeah, I lost that uh, due to uh, a really messy divorce <laughs> um, in the mid '80s. Uh, I was on a lot of drugs, to be honest with you, not as much as I am now. But uh, yeah, she took she took everything. She took the dogs, both kids, three kids. It's all a little hazy. But the, really, the more important part was uh, the the mandolin. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty sad. Well, luckily, you still have it at this point in our story, right? Well, I, I assume, yeah. I, I'll be honest, I'm flying right now. I don't really even know what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, you had last left off where you walked into uh, an ornate door after going through a big snowy field yeah, and McDonald's. constantly trying to stop your adversary, your <laughs> arch nemesis. What were you? Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. I hated that dude. Yeah. It was just a dick. What was his name? I don't know. We never Dick got it. Dickinson? <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't dude, have a record of a Dick pain. Dickinson. I'm pretty sure What's his name? Pain, yeah. But I do have do a record, record of an Alfred. Yeah, no. no. That doesn't no. no. sound right at all. <laughs> no. no. We no. renamed him to yeah, Dick Dickinson. Definitely Dick Dickinson. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Dick Dickinson. Yeah, that dude sucked. <laughs> you remember, though, when I stabbed him? You remember, it was funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you enter the hilarious. ornate door where an iron golem was sitting there with a handkerchief over his arm waiting for you. Yeah, he, he's going to bring us to a table. Yeah, we actually left off at the table, yeah. sir. The golem. He I was about to bring us bread. I'm starting to think our interviewer doesn't remember our story. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure we're at the bread portion. <laughs> Do you guys ever get like, it's like a weird dream. And there's like a dude interviewing us. It's really strange. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> you've now taken a seat at the table uh, that you've been brought to by the Iron Golem. Looking around this area. Still full of pee. <laughs> <laughs> he has a uh, bottomless a m beer mug that they filled with pee. <laughs> uh, no, just a beer bit and yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Say, Sitting just down, bit, yeah. you guys are yeah. able to look at the edge of the area. There's a banister right there to the north of you. I look down. Looking down, you can see like another area, like a little seating area. There's no one here. And these yep, tables still look afraid of heights. Oh, that was bad. These tables all look like they've been here for a very long time. There's rotting food on some of them. There's trash on the ground, and it looks like things have been a little disoriented. Over this second banister, you see nothing but molten lava. Mm -hmm. The iron golem has seated you guys down, and you can see around you there are a total of three iron golems. One with a handkerchief over one arm. Another one that is behind in what appears to be a chef-like area. And the guy... Kitchen? <laughs> is that the word you're looking for? A Kitchen? Chef-like area. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Would you say... I'm no connoisseur, as we all know. Would you say that looks more like a kitchen or an area where chefs would hang out? 
That's a good question. That's where the chefs do coke. <laughs> Chef like area. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Chef prep. And then you just see one sitting in the corner with his arms crossed, kind of looking at you smugly. The golem? No, there's three of them. Is the golem? Yeah, they're all golems. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sure. One's in a chef like area, though. Don't forget that. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's got a chef hat on it, too. Like and chef you can actually RD see on the, on the one in the chef like area, his name is Houston. Mm. It's not original. It's <laughs> bad storytelling. <laughs> bad storytelling. <laughs> uh, chef's kiss. <laughs> As you guys are sitting there, the one with the handkerchief over his arms, hello and welcome to the Iron Golem restaurant. You are our second guest in the most recent era. Who's the first? There was this pack of very angry goblins. We have sent them down below. How long ago? About two days ago. Ah. They might have mm. stuff. We can kill them and take it. I think they're already dead. Well, then we just get if to take it. Down, we skip a step. <laughs> but if you look down below, it's just lava. Uh, Big Ed, did you, did you see the lava? I thought it was Mountain Dew Red. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you to our restaurant? Food. Hungry? Dinner. <laughs> Today's specials are steamed wheels with an oil glaze. Ooh. I'm down to lie. That sounds good. Love <laughs> a good wheel. I'm down to try new things. Yeah. Big head is. We have Dance a uh, oil bisque. Mm. Um, we also have a filet a la rubber today. <laughs> Where do you source mm. your rubber from? <laughs> now, see, the problem with rubber, though, is you eat it, and then, like, two hours later, you're hungry. Yeah, but, <laughs> but depending on where they source it from really brings out the flavor. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, where do you source your rubber from? We source our rubber from the forge down below. Oh. How do you forge rubber? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> These guys don't make any sense. No. What brings you here? Didn't they already ask us that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little confused. <laughs> Can I get some oil bisque? Is there a house band? There is not a house band. We are currently seeking a house band. Ah, <laughs> lucky <laughs> for you. <laughs> Sales pitch time. <laughs> I start to hover. <laughs> Carry on. Sales pitch it. Big the ad. iron Carry on. walks My away way, as son. you're beginning to try and piss. Oh. Try and pitch. You're trying to piss. <laughs> Jesus. Big Ed, go to the damn restroom. Also known as the peeing area. <laughs> a piss-like area. <laughs> like area. Where people who need to piss can hang out. <laughs> Max, the pacifist werewolf, looks at you all. All right, bros. What the hell is going on? We're getting food. <laughs> You've been complaining you were hungry this whole time. I don't remember that, man. Yep. You don't remember a lot of things. Like <laughs> Me neither. How? <laughs> what? Why is everybody giggling? Aww. Like how a pacifist werewolf isn't a real thing. I don't know, man. You keep saying that, but I have yet to kill anyone. You'll you attacked us. I was under the effects of mind control. Ah, it doesn't yeah. matter. I yeah, the it. next it was full moon's coming. You. The Me next full too. moon's coming, and then we'll see. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when aren't you? That's a good point. <laughs> what are we doing, leader o leader? Getting some oil bisque, and then we'll be on our way. Okay. The Iron Golem eventually comes back. He's got four bowls of, of what appears to be just slopping oil in the bowls. Delicious. And he brings it over, and he drops it in front of you. Looking into it, you just see oil. Screws, nuts, bolts are kind of mixed into it. I'm going to... Do we have spoons? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Put oil into my bottomless mug, so I have a bottomless mug of oil. Okay. <laughs> Even Andy's like, where is that going to come up? It might come in handy later. Who knows? <laughs> We're in a place where they're feeding and oil. If anybody's going to remember they have a bottle of of oil, it's Dan. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> not going to come over later <laughs> when he forgets. Um, as he brings this stuff down, there's a little bit of a splash on the oil, Houston. It kind of hits the table. It's a little uh -huh. to add to the mess that is already on your table. The, me the table itself also appears to be in a little bit of a disarray. What kind of oil are we talking? Are we talking like motor oil, virgin olive oil? What are we like talking? WD forty. Oh, okay, it's very okay. thick and soupy. Just, just making sure. Like, WD like the kind forty that, thick uh, and soupy. Okay, have you tried I've it? Seen it? No, because I've only sprayed it. <laughs> have you ever opened a can of WD forty? You know it comes in bottles. Too. You know what? Let's pause the game. Let's go. 
Well, we he <laughs> continues to subscribe. I'm just what's picturing going on. the I'm kind searching. of oil from Futurama that uh, gets on mm. all the penguins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of oil. Motor. All right, oil. what are we doing? Uh, After sitting there for a few moments, the iron golem comes back. Is your bisque to your liking? It's delicious. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's the best oil bisque I've, I've ever had. had yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. My compliments to the chef in their chef-like areas. Oh, the chef. Yes. Hold on. He right. walks over to oh. the chef-like area. I okay. I guess we're gonna meet him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he brings out Chef Houston, right. the chef of the chef-like area. Hello, I am Chef Houston. <laughs> feel attacked you right should. now. Definitely yeah. attacking you. <laughs> Jesus. What can I do for you today? But, but nothing. We were just saying how good it was, and then the other guy went and got you, which doesn't make any damn sense. I don't know. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't say I wanted to talk to you. Can I get the dessert menu? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but we are out of desserts today. This is the worst restaurant you're I've ever been in. Yeah, you're not getting a Throw down my napkin. I splash oil in his face. <laughs> I'll go ahead and roll initiative now. <laughs> Chef Houston walks back after. Did you say that you are a band? <laughs> are they drunk? Or is, am I just moving at slower pace than I everybody don't know. else? This yes. happens, I'm not going to lie. The iron golems do seem a little off to you uh, because they're falling apart. The area's falling apart. You're kind of getting a sense something's off. It really feels off, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. If I had to put my word, if I had to put a word to it, off. off. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's just go to the forge. How good are you at being a band? <laughs> uh, Some would say the best. Yes, we're godlike. Go, you are a godlike band. <laughs> yes. Can you demonstrate how godlike you are? <laughs> roll <I> performance. <laughs> I roll. I hover. You get advantage because you're hovering. That would be a nineteen. My character sheet closed because I was looking at <laughs> WD-40. 25. These two do amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we are godlike. <laughs> you are indeed a godlike band. I well, start not. doing like karate kicks and stuff while playing my mandolin. Oh. 26. We are the best band ever. Would you be up for saving our Iron Golem restaurant? What's the pay? <laughs> that is a good question, Big All Ed. All the treasure that you can find. Ooh. Find where? Yeah, including the ones you can find, too. Yeah. You're not hiding anything from me, Mr. Man. <laughs> Mr. Robot Golem Man. <laughs> I am not a man. That is you. You Mr. Golem person? Down below at the base of the oh. forge, behind the door that can only be opened by the world's greatest band. How convenient. <laughs> I mean, that's we just happened to walk into it. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> This doesn't sound like a trap at all. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down with it. Is the ignition for the forge. It is also where all the forge's treasures have been kept. If you can open the door, you may take all the treasure. Some of the treasure. Final offer. <laughs> no, no, no. Shh. Where? Shh. What happened? Shh. He said all. We like all. Oh, all. You can't take it back. You already <laughs> said it. You already said it. <laughs> if you can ignite the forge, it will save our entire mountain town. Ooh. Good ignite. I look forge. around. You see three iron golems in a destroyed-looking restaurant. What? What sound? There once was an ancient race here that we served, and we were created by them. Oh, God. Skip conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were getting a bunch of skip dialogue. Skip dialogue. Skip you dialogue. get an entire backstory about the people that used to live within the mountain. Sure. Max fell asleep mid-conversation. Right. Okay. I also fell asleep mid-conversation. <laughs> uh, gonna... But what they basically boil down to is the entire race has gone extinct or fled the caverns because the forge was sealed up and that the mm -hmm. forge it now needs to be reignited. If it can be reignited, the mountain could potentially come back to life, but the iron golems would at least have someone to serve again. All right, where do we go? Where's down. the forge? Down, down below. I know, but I'm asking where. We jump into the lava. And I, what was no, I would not jump into the lava. Swear. I do not think your squishy bodies will survive. I'm what was sure the race of people swim. that lived here? And more importantly, were they hot? <laughs> <laughs> They were a race of entire of entirely women, all extremely hot. Yes. On a scale of one to ten, they were all thirteens. We, we they were all thirteen. I'm good. It's <laughs> too young for me. Good. We're not gonna get in that same mess we had three times ago. I don't want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> guys, that, after much deliberation, we need to save this place and bring hotness back to the world. <laughs> you have a great point. All right. 
If you can yeah. save the day, the hot bikini women will arrive. Guys, they wear bikinis <laughs> only. It doesn't make any sense that they wear bikinis at the forge. But well, I mean, it's hot. It's yeah, hot. You want, yeah, I mean, granted, you I'm, probably wouldn't protect your skin, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> a lot of burns. A lot yeah, of burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like six. If you burns. go to the second the floor, there burns. is a passageway going down. It is where we sent the goblins who claimed to be the world's greatest band. Ah. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Losers. That's what we claim to be. <laughs> we could take them. Yeah. Were they hot? <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to goblin, they were goblins. I mean, that's pretty that's not good. that bad. It's yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, hot yeah, for a goblin. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Down below we go. <laughs> like every Friday night. Bro. Into the deep. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Is there a back door to this place? If you know what I mean? <laughs> Chef Houston has a back door. No, that, I'm good. I don't want to talk to him again. The hinge is broken. He just seems like he'd be really wildly needy, <laughs> if I'm being honest. He does like to cuddle. Yeah. As you guys are leaving, Chef Houston leans out. Have a good trip. Oh, God, his voice oh, is God. so annoying. <laughs> And I don't know how, but he seems to be the ugliest of the golden. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. Are you tying your hoodie to your mic? <laughs> don't worry about it. Carry on. We're in the middle of a game, man. Yeah, it's called ADHD. It's <laughs> taking over today. Whee! <laughs> You're supposed to be leading us, you know. I mean, or onward and inward, <laughs> as Silvercock likes to say. I do say that a lot. <laughs> As you guys reach the bottom of the area, looking over to your left, you can see the bubbling lava. The, the you just you God, is it hot in here or just me? Just me. Oh. Um, and what you <laughs> see is a tunnel that curves awkwardly. It's pitch black except for the light uh, illuminating from the this dark. This is a fire. very awkwardly curved tunnel. I have an idea tunnel. for a new song. Awkward curve. Awkward curve. <laughs> <laughs> I start strumming. Awkward curve. In the bedroom. Secret oh, tunnel. Secret tunnel. Some people call secret. it the bedroom. What do you guys do? You're standing at the entryway to the tunnel. We're, no. Can you not see what we're doing? <laughs> we're apparently walking through the tunnel. I never agree. All right, Dan, that. as you begin to walk through the I'm tunnel. I'm behind Matt. Secret tunnel. <laughs> so we're clear. As you're walking through the tunnel, Dan, tunnel. you immediately trip a wire. Uh. <laughs> no, you I trip get... on a wire. No, you trip a wire. Oh. How far back from Dan are you two since you weren't forcing yourself? I'm behind the Max. So wherever Max was. Max is I'm at the entryway and did not enter. Him. Good luck, guys. <laughs> so, Max, tell me about yourself. <laughs> well, you know, man, I'm a pacifist werewolf. I'm already bored. <laughs> Never mind. He was like, I'm also back here. As Dan walks <laughs> forward and trips the line, though you hear. Do I know? And the rocks from the ceiling begin to just cave in on top of Dan. Ugh, I'll catch it. Athletics. I guess we just have to. Uh, give, okay, give me, give me twenty six. Now give me a strength roll. I guess we just have strength to. Strength or strength saving? Strength, mm, strength. We'll do strength. See what you catch. Ooh. Oh, pebble. Six. So you were quick enough. So Dan, I don't know why the, the, I needed two rolls. I don't know why I decided to try to catch instead of dodge. I gave him ja the acrobatics. Dodge. You get, you, you quickly. You know, athletics. Athletics. Dodge. Athletic, you quickly put your arms up to catch the falling boulders. You got his head. I, I think we have different definitions of this. And as the rocks <laughs> land on you and you get a six on your strength, you are crushed between the rubble, All trapping right. your waist inward. Oh, well. Your head is on the other side of the trap. No, I'm good, guys. I don't know. It sounds like you take your head is damage. off your body. We're good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, you guys see in front health. of you a bunch of rocks, mm. and you just see one of Ed's feet hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Wait a second. I pull out my dagger. Boop. <laughs> boop, boop. Boop, boop. Now what he has a boner. Doing? What were we doing down here? <laughs> That's what happens when you rage. Everybody knows that. All right. Well, <laughs> do are, do, are my hands free? Your hands are free. You boop, waist boop, down. Boop, boop. You're pretty much covered by the rubble. And one foot sticking out of there. And I go, ah, I knew this would help. And I pour some of my oil on me to <laughs> slick myself up. And I shimmy my way through. Oh, <sighs> guys, be careful. There's wires. As you try to pull yourself out with the oil now drenching your body, you feel yourself you tugging like your body's kind of pinned between a rock, like a sharper a rock place. coming down onto like your knee, and then basically pinning you to the ground. So you can't get that one free. It's behind the rocks. So you can't get the oil back. Oh, yeah, kick it with my other foot. You start trying to kick it with the other foot? Yeah. Give me another strength roll. Unfortunately, it turns out that these rocks were actually flint, 
and your axe was creating sparks and set you on fire. I know, right? <laughs> the rocks are actually flint. And by doing oil on yourself and then kicking it with your metal boot. Ben's like, write that down, write that this, down. This all makes so much sense for a place that is supposed to be a forge for normal people, and this yeah. isn't even a secret tunnel. I don't know if it's the actual else way. Has this, but this tunnel doesn't make any geological <laughs> sense. <laughs> I assumed it was standing with all these rocks <laughs> fell. As you begin also, to kick the of... other rock off, you guys are l watching. Ugh. And you see his one leg just start trying to kick the other one off his knee. <laughs> I use mage hand to push. I'm just very curious how the goblins got through. Probably jumped over the wire. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> goblins aren't no. that smart. As you use mage hand and he's kicking the rock, Dan, do you feel yourself magically pushed forward? Ah. Good. And with your oil, you slide out and then go about six more feet down, just like. Grrr. And you trip uh, four more wires. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Three. They're they're going. I'm just running through. I'm just running all the way running through. through? Only two feet. Okay. You know what? I'm not. Apparently, I'm not in control of actually getting a chance to see. Wires I didn't say or four more came over. No, I. S <laughs> no, you never gave me a chance to see the first one. I literally said, "What are you doing?" And you said, "Walking down the tunnel." <laughs> that is true. You got to specify if you're looking for something. All right, fine. I look for the other wires. Yeah, give me a roll. <laughs> you got this, big head. All right, 12. Bardic inspiration. Go 12. Ahead, you don't see anything out of the ordinary moving boy. forward. You do hear in the distance. D6. Yeah, I'm not as good as him. Do okay. any of you guys understand Goblin? Uh, I got a 16, actually. On perception? Yes. Okay. I do not. No? It's kind of like Dwarvish. No? Orc. Orc? Yep, that's all I got. It's derivative. <laughs> we'll say it's derivative. It's like a, it's like a you're picking thing. up keywords off in the distance. You be, you're hearing keywords, but you can't make up full sentences. You're hearing yeah. words along the lines of like "trap has been set off," "what a, who's coming after us," and then somebody yelling at another one. I thought you made a good trap, and then who you did in it. my pants? <laughs> Looking me. forward, Dan. Okay, you see three more wires across the floor. Okay. You also see two strung across in front of you in an X shape. Okay. And you see a really bizarre looking trap at the end of it, but you can't quite make out what it is because it's around the bend. All right. Hey, guys. Hey. Can, can you hear me? Can you no. hear me through this wall? No. That's can we a weird get the way wall? to respond. <laughs> As he came out, there's a small gap at the top. You can see through right, it at the I'll moment, my head. but it's going to hey, take you a minute. What happened to you? <laughs> oh, Why I was, are you covered in oil? It's uh, <laughs> don't Don't ask. Uh, You're supposed to invite me to the party, right? <laughs> yeah, I was I was prepping myself. All right. I got a <laughs> pregame, <laughs> basically. Uh, okay, I'm gonna push the rocks so that there's a bigger hole for them to get. Okay, through. all right. Takes about a, you know probably about ten minutes to make it up through. smooth. I start climbing. I wish all right. could you could fly. We could do losers with your legs. <laughs> <laughs> with your legs. <laughs> You're right, Big Ed, he doesn't need his legs anymore. No. Go ahead and cut those off. I need a spare set, so <laughs> just in case. So you're all on the other side now. Do you relay the traps you have seen? Uh, Yeah, guys, there's traps. Hold on, I got this. Max, you should wait here because you're stupid. You know what? I don't want to get involved in a fight, man, yeah. because I'm a pacifist. Right, yeah. I slap him <laughs> with mage hand. <laughs> I'll hang out up here and uh, have some oil soup. Yeah, bisque. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Good. Uh, <laughs> He's gone. I hope so. By the end of this, he will be gone. He better be. Because <laughs> I've already started the song of how Max died oh. in a cave. And so if it doesn't happen here, the song's not going to work. <laughs> it might not be this cave, but... A, a cave. cave. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right, Rangers so... Over. Max, come with us to a cave. <laughs> All right, so just so you're aware, there's two trip wires. Three. Three trip wires. <laughs> I just kind of like. And then an X wire. Ang from Avatar. Uh, go over and around the wires. <laughs> floating. Because I'm floating. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. Because you're already floating and he's yeah. made you aware of where they are. But as you come around the bend, Andy, you're coming around. Oh, be careful of the one at the end. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just said I, I go through all of the wires. So. There's no wire. There's at the goblins. ending, you do see what appears to be a spiked giant log ready to come swinging down. You don't see the activation point for it, though. I would assume it's some sort of plate on the floor. And as you're what looking kind of at that, plate? off in the distance... Oof, 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 oof. You see 18 goblins. I flipped them off. All in bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> goblins gone wild. 
Those are skeletons. Yeah, we don't have goblin yeah, puns. What the hell, man? <laughs> if only you had How do you not have to... goblin puns? Have so goblins are goblin like puns. the yeah. most generic That's why thing. I have tons of goblin yeah, puns. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, the best part is, I can almost guarantee he's got goblins back there. Probably do somewhere. Anyway, as you come around the bend so and past the, the log, you're still kind of in, obscured by the darkness. You see a fire going off. And sitting around the fire, you see six goblins. In bikinis. They're all dressed in like rocker outfits, and two of the women are in bikini tops, and they've all got like mohawks. Do they have stuff. spikes on the bikini tops? Yes. Hot. I'm um, going to be honest, this, this is pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and laying around them, yeah. you see two lutes, you see a mandolin, you see one big drum, a guy with a triangle, you see a band. Cowbell? Eh, the six guys are cowbell. Nice. I think they might be the best band ever. I, they <laughs> might be. They got a cowbell. <laughs> So you're there, you're hovering. Big I log in front of you. I hover back. <laughs> slowly. I slowly step over all of the wires. Boop, a boop, a boop. Since you're navigating over, give me a, what did you say, acrobatics? To that navigate. would be acrobatics. No, I succeeded. And then, <laughs> or that. Yeah. Oh, damn. I mean, I don't even know why I had to question you. You know what? I'm going to deceive the wires. 16. Okay. So I was going to say roll with advantage because you see them. Oh. So. I mean, but you made it anyway. So. I will follow. 16. <laughs> That's weird. 23. Oh. <laughs> I was just waiting for one of you with and advantage to fail. And now I heard about this sweet... Guys, there's like a sweet goblin band over there, and they look like they're like hardcore. <laughs> Should we challenge them to a battle of the bands? Obviously. Yes. And, a, but and I will crush no, their No, no, our instruments. Oh. I mean, and my instrument's an axe. He's got a point. Yeah, but first of all, you don't crush with an axe. You chop with an axe. I, I mean, it axe. depends on how, how I'm holding the axe. More not to be fair, <laughs> if I'm holding the you axe got to that flat, point. Oh. You it's like this. It's line. like this. Ready? Ready? It's like if I were to swing it like this, that's chopping. Yeah. If I turn it, <laughs> I crush them. <laughs> Pancake mode. I mean, I mean he's got, got a got point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from now on, Not any acts of my campaign can also do bludgeoning damage. <laughs> you can choose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talked me into it, I guess. I right, have a plan? way with boss axes. Man. Yeah, boss man, McGee's axe. Well. Oh, but be careful, this spike. Log. You guys you aren't sure how that one's triggered yet. You didn't see it. I lines. investigate the ground. Give me a roll. Investigate the dog. A solid two. <laughs> Nothing was out of ordinary to you. I'm pretty sure it's just there. I will investigate the crown. <laughs> you know how not good you are at searching for things. I got a two. I will inspire myself. And a one. <laughs> we don't need to say that with an at one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's He's not much drunk. better. Uh, listen, I got an eight. <laughs> Ground right. looks perfectly normal to you right. too. Right. Let Guys, me. It's perfect. Third time's a Ed, charm. Go ahead. <laughs> Third time's a charm. What am Ed, I rolling? Go ahead. <laughs> Investigation. Yeah. Hey, twenty-one. <laughs> you see a stone that looks odd. Like if you step on it, it's gonna trigger something. You should try this one. <laughs> I think that's the deactivation stone, Max. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But don't step we on that one. We should use Max as like. We really should just make him go far. He has, yeah. he has an unlimited amount of life. You know, That's standard yeah. NPC he's, escort guy. He's pacifist, so it's not like he's he can attack back. Yeah, yeah. In worst case, we push him. I got a big <laughs> axe. Big axe for big head. All right, what's the plan, big man? Let me squeeze around it. I say that because you're so <laughs> tiny. They are completely oblivious to you guys being here right now. The way they're all just focused on there. You you are picking up the end keywords about them talking about traps that they set they and them being triggered. Traps. But they but they're all sound too afraid to go look. But they're too scared. I'm translating well, as I hear it to you guys. We could solve this problem pretty quickly if we want. Fireball. We can talk <laughs> is it a fireball. We can fireball them or. Talk to them. I they like it. Sweet their yeah, that's why I don't want to fireball them. You know what? I could write a song if you fireball. It's called Roast. Hello, Goblins. new band friends. Oh. We can now call the song if we fireball. As you walk over and you say that, they turn to you. Pretty sure sorry, goblins sorry. No <laughs> <about them. laughs> they do. <laughs> I, I push my friend aside. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> Hello, new friend. <laughs> <laughs> 
common. I'm 99 percent sure they speak common. I'm gonna I mean, go it is a pretty point 99 yeah, percent sure. It's pretty common. These ones language. don't. <laughs> well, fireball it oddly, is. Then. Oddly enough, these ones speak Gaelic. <laughs> Celestial. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? What are you doing? As you walk and approach them, are you all with him or are you still hiding in the shadows? I swagger up behind him. Okay, as the three of you walk forward, yeah. all of the goblins kind of grab their weapons. But Why some does of the- everybody grab their weapons in this world? I don't know. And they're all like, ah, what do you want? I you heard intimidate. I want the, to- the hottest goblin female you've ever seen in the spiked bikini, like she's straight out of a 90s comic book. I want your number. She comes to you. Hello, I'm the voice. <laughs> no, no. All right. <laughs> no. Nope. Try to do the Houston voice again. No. Again. <laughs> no, I don't like it. Uh, ah, she comes over to you. <laughs> what are you doing in here? How dare you? We are the band who's going to save the day. Then why are you just sitting here? Because. There's, there's some scary stuff in the next cave. <laughs> <laughs> there's scarier stuff right here, I say, as I hold my axe intimidation in Lee. I push Everyone, 16. wield your weapons! You see five goblins now switch over to their swords and I push axes. through the two of them and step up to the hottest goblin I've ever seen. I, I got this, I got this. I look her up and down and I go, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of ideas. Now I... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need to fight. I don't know. Did my you're the one 16, that brought your big lug? Did my he's three times the size of me? Huh? Did my sixteen intimidation? No, they're all just prepped up behind her. All right. Well, time to fight. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> big Ed just always ready for a fight. Well, I clearly intimidate them. Time to cut their heads off. <laughs> I just nothing is more intimidating I mean, than dismemberment. You're not wrong. <laughs> I just love Dan. I, well, they, to they've fire. got enough band members. They can lose one in an intimidation tactic. <laughs> I could easily crush them with my side for axe. All right. <clears throat> but, I had ideas, and now they're gone. Because no, Dan can... wants to murder everything? <laughs> That's, no, uh, Big Ed wants to murder everything. Why did you set traps on the way down here? To prevent any other band from following us. That's a terrible idea. How are you going to get out? The exit's next to the vault door. No, it's not. How do you know? You've never been there. The Iron Golem said... Did you not talk to him? Which one? <laughs> we talked about some, like, oil bisque. So you just ate the food and didn't question him? I kind of skipped the dialogue. Well, I don't know if that was the best uh, option. Hmm. What, is this a game to you? Yes. <laughs> So, so maybe don't question the main character. I say as I'm spitting my axe. Wait, you're the head. main character? Yes. I'm behind him. <laughs> they don't call me Big Ed for nothing. We are the Goblin Furies, and we are the greatest band in existence. That's a terrible name. Go ahead. I play was it. just gonna say this is such yeah. a fucking awesome name. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Can you play us a song? Can you play us a song? I asked first. He did. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? We do a collaboration, right? We do like a, like a, like a, what's, what's the word for that? Not a collaboration. CD, we don't have that. It's not a recording. Anyway, <laughs> like a, like a, <laughs> we make sweet, beautiful music together. We a duet? Today. A duet. There you go. That's fucking so great. So what do we do about the treasure inside of the door then? We split we it. We take it. 70, 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We split it based on size. The taller people get the most, the shorter people get the least. Should I roll persuasion? Or yeah, you roll persuasion. <laughs> you got this, bro. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> That's me. I'll, I'll do it myself. Mine's <laughs> better than yours. Yeah, but I need yours. <laughs> Do you have me. a D6? Yes. I only have one. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, the the noise you should challenge them to a jumping contest. 15? 15. 15. Let's see. Uh, I don't know about this. So how exactly would you want to split the money? 70-50 70, 50 doesn't really add up. And we don't even... What, you guys what if it's not the money? smartest goblins I've ever met. <laughs> how do you know... We that, are! How, how do you think we're the most successful? 
of all the goblin bands, which I know are at least seven. Se- seven. Seven. <laughs> I mean, between you and me, I'm the smart one. These guys are just here to do the thing. <laughs> That's fair. Wait, what's this thing? The mu- we're banned. Oh, been- no, I get that. Why I'm do you just- think one has a cowbell? Actually, <laughs> this mic comes to shock too, but I'm the smart one. Uh, <laughs> it's true. All right, here's how we'll split the money. Who even said it was money? It was treasure. Why that are you creating an argument? I'm not. Don't you point at me. <laughs> Boop. What just happened? <laughs> Trust me. It'll, it'll come back later. Okay. <laughs> so come back later. If it's money, we'll split it on a 50-50 basis. Yeah. All magical items slash weapons will be split on a need by need basis. And we need it. I like the way this sounds. Good. Would you like... Plus, the next room's got a lot of scary things in it, so now we've got eight people. Would you like some green root potion? Nine, I can't count. (laughs) Would you like some green root potion? I would like some green root potion. Don't don't take it all. She takes a little. Her eyes like, like a cartoon. (laughs) I take a little. (laughs) All right, so I'm Metal Cindy. This is Louie, Dewey, and Huey. (laughs) This is Shit Brick. <laughs> I'm gonna remember shit, Brick. <laughs> I'll be remembering. Uh, <laughs> we call this one Daffy, and that one's Gizmo Duck. And you were little Debbie. Cindy. A little Cindy. Yeah, little Debbie. Metal Cindy. <laughs> Metal Cindy. We'll Metal change it to Little Debbie to make it simpler. Yeah. We got the cast of Ducktales and Little Debbie's yeah, treats. Yeah, snapcakes. <laughs> Woohoo! I'll try to make it easy. <laughs> no. It's terrible. That was awful, Dan. What did he do? He just went, woo. <laughs> All right, so you, you've now gained uh, six goblin pets. Uh, Metal pets. Cindy is a goblin boss. They're people too, Ben. Don't be no. specious. All right, so we have a slight issue. If we're going to be teaming up, directly behind me is the cooling pools of the forge from what we've gathered. I could use a bath. But there's a water elemental in there that is very angry. Why? I have a question. How hot are they? I mean, on a human scale, probably very hot. On a goblin scale, I wasn't impressed. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Guys, I'll deal with the water. The other, path, <laughs> the other path to go around the cooling forge looks to be two torn bridges, and we can't figure out how to connect them because we got those little short stubby arms. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you can hover! Yeah. It's awesome. What do you do with that? I just mostly don't walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as we've gotten. We've been here for about a day. It took a day to set the traps up, and then we couldn't go forward, and we've been sitting here for about a day now. <laughs> that was a terrible <laughs> idea. Lazy goblins. And we, were, and we were into a problem, because we trapped the exit, and then we couldn't go forward. Right, right, so we've right, just right, been right. here. Yeah, yeah. What have you been eating? Rations. <laughs> well, they had a seventh member. <laughs> What are those bones over there? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> you know, we're going to retcon that. We had a seventh member. <laughs> Sick. It's metal AF. These guys are punk. <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do? He's going to go calm the water elemental. <laughs> I walk into the next strip. Wait, where's the bridge? We could just connect the bridge to the, the left. I drew the where penis. the bridge would this be one? so you can see what the design is. Yeah. This one or this one? No, no, it's that one. This one. That is the very narrow four inch lawn uh, uh, ledge going hey, down. Four inches is fine. That's plenty. So go if you look over there. <laughs> Some say it's more than enough. <laughs> so looking over there, if you're looking at it directly onward, you see that the bridge has been completely torn and there's a standing stalactite kind of thing in the middle or stalagmite, whichever one goes up. <laughs> But Marty, the bridges, just figured we that figured out. this yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Tight, T, top. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was a mite. So it's basically a flattened Mighty stalagmite mite where the two bridges <laughs> were brought together. <laughs> I like On the right, you top. see what appears to be a minor ledge of about four inches wide. <laughs> you can try to navigate across. Yeah, the four inches is plenty. Everybody knows Especially that. when you hover. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got Mr. Floaty Man. That is Ooh. my new stage name. Floaty man. And also a song I'm working on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guess you're floaty man. Mr. Floaty man. No, don't do that. Bring don't, me a dream. Thing. Don't do that. That's your thing. 
Uh, so wait, there, uh, so the, with the, the thing, apparently I'm drunk in real life. Uh, so the where's the, the actual bridge? I drew the lines there so you can see where they're supposed to go. Okay. okay. So, all, so where the bridge is supposed to go, there's a small four inch ledge. No. Okay. Wait, so what's this then? This is That's the to the water was. elemental. That is where it was. So you can see where it was supposed to be the line wise. Uh, this is the four inch ledge leading to this one. I got you. So this is a wall. Yes. This is not a pit. No. Okay. That is a Got full blown wall. That is very good to know. And this is the, where the water elemental is. Yes. In the hex shaped watery pool. <laughs> so ben doesn't know how to do squiggly lines. Yeah, squiggly lines. You still knew what it was, didn't you? Not really. Once you burn. said what it was. Specify, yeah. <laughs> burn. <laughs> how is that a burn? I don't think you know what a burn is. <laughs> you just figured out another thing. You know what? We're getting another plot. I'm, I'm picking I'm, his I'm nose, just everybody. Say, Oil is hydrophobic, so if we cover ourselves in oil, it can't attack it us. It can't attack us. Genius. I mean, I can just hover over the or ledge. Or we can Pull just run time. really fast. Also an option. How about this? You float. Mm -hmm. You've got a rope. Yep. And then you're gonna like somehow pin the rope yeah. to the wall so like that a, we like can a rock use it. Climbing thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking on yeah. it. Let's do it. I'm gonna do that. I didn't catch what that was. Well, that's not my fault. You shouldn't have walked away. <laughs> I'm going to float along the ledge to the other side okay. with a rope so it creates sort of like a banister for everyone. Okay. Dan? That's not me. It's only going to count if you move them all the way to the other side, Dan. <laughs> what do you see on the other side? What do I see with As my you elven to eyes? Come out, you see in it's front of you of a molten oh. forge with a giant anvil in the middle. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> sitting, what? <laughs> sitting on the anvil, a what was an unaware oh. <laughs> fire elemental. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I figure I solved the problem. The water elemental sad and angry because they're in love with the fire elemental, but unfortunately their love can't be because every time they touch, I get this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's truly what's going on, but that's going in the song. Yep. It's part of the song. It's I'm just uh, writing down lyrics. The fire elemental fire sitting fire on nice. there. Super sexy. Awesome looking fire elemental. Sure. Nice. Huge. Abs for days. Huge abs for days. <laughs> <laughs> huge. Like a, like a Rob Liefeld. Huge. <laughs> huge. Is Person sitting is. there looking kind of mopey and depressed, but hearing your voice, she turns and looks at you, oh, and her sorry. eyes blaze What's up. up girl? <laughs> is it hot in here? Is it just you? <laughs> she floats up, <laughs> Float stands check. back up, I floats mean. down off the anvil, and begins to walk over the molten lava slowly and sensually towards you. I yes. need a charisma check though on that. <laughs> For what? For the is it For hot in here? Yeah. Is it just you? I don't. Know, does that do I have to do a charisma check? No, that's no. like a nat twenty. Mm. That's that a, like tree. a tree. Elemental. I only have one elemental. That's right. the exact opposite of a fire elemental. <laughs> well, no, that would be a water elemental. Okay, so no, while this is going on, you guys elemental. haven't heard That's anything that. other than hearing "I found it" and then he went quiet. Are you dead? <laughs> I'm coming. Not yet. <laughs> oh wait, cast message. Are you dead? Not yet. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm coming across and luckily. All right, give me three rolls at advantage because you got yeah you're obviously able to stabilize a lot easier. But the problem right now is Andy isn't tied it off. Yeah, he's still got it. He's, he's just... <laughs> Whoa, all right. All right. What am I rolling? Athletics? Uh, we'll do athletics. I'll give you that or acrobatics, whatever you're All right, so the first one's 30. I don't know what to say to the fire in the Don't do uh, that. <laughs> second one was 19. You said do three of them? Yeah. Third one's 26. All right, so he's coming up behind you, Andy, and you're feeling like you're kind of holding the rope. Uh, oh, you were holding it the whole time? Oh, here, let yeah, me get that for you. That I take it from him and I hammer it into the wall. I got now you. Now I cross. <laughs> I just, you were holding it? Here, let me take care of that for you. Um, Huey, go ahead and roll the three times. No, I made it. <laughs> I mean, he said it. And he took his character is over. I'm dead. Oh, wait, I have advantage. <laughs> I tell the fire elemental that we come in peace. Eleven. And offer her some green root potion. <laughs> and all the goblins are coming across down to two. 11? Didn't we? Uh, 21? <laughs> 13. <laughs> How dead am I? It was 11. An 11? 
With an advantage? 21, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then 13. Uh, on the near the ending there, I'll put the eleven towards the back half. You guys, hear, you hear behind you, Andy. Oh shit! And he slips, and you just see like he's dangling off the side, holding the rope. Here, grab my axe. <laughs> By the sharp end. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you got to grab it on the flat side, <laughs> the bludgeoning side. I let go. Oh, Bye -bye, everybody. <laughs> It's okay. You let go, and as you, as you Wilhelm scream, you guys look behind you, and you just see Huey fade. Can you uh, do the Wilhelm scream for us? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, I grab, yeah! I grab onto his axe. Nope, yeah. nope, you fell into the darkness. Well, sweet, bye, everybody. <laughs> you still have to sit here. No. And you have to sit here for the rest of the campaign. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> you didn't get to make a new character. <laughs> That's punishment for trying to leave the campaign. Um, you grab the axe real quick, and he pulls you up. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Uh, uh, the fire elemental during this period is still walking towards you. Her hands begin to light on fire as she's growing closer to you. Either she is turned on, or she's about to attack us. I'm going to start Sounds playing like my loot. Sounds like everyone I've ever dated. <laughs> Do you have a plan before we roll initiative? Yes, I'm going to play my loot as sensually as possible <laughs> for the love story between my friend who is offering a beverage yes. as well as I said tell her that the greatest right. pickup line of we're, all time. Yeah, yeah. Is it hot in here or is it just you? Exactly. And I tell her that while uh, we're not here to fight and I dun, offer her some dun, green root. Dun, 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 and I believe we decided dun, dun, that when dun, I take dun, the green root, I have advantage on charisma but disadvantage on all everything else. Everything else, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> is what we said, right? Bum, yeah. Bum, Should bum, I roll bum, charisma? Bum. Yeah, roll charisma. He's got the music in the background. So I'm going to give you advantage because as the goblins are coming across, they begin to play with you. And towards the back half of your chorus, you begin to hear the cowbell. That's your sensual. Also, aren't you supposed to be playing a loot? He did say loot. Oh, I heard flute. Nice. It's not a loot. It's a nat 20. So that gives me a total of 25. Okay. I will allow the fire elemental to be calmed by Andy. But you have to tell me the lyrics that you're singing for his chorus in the background. Did you not just hear me? That you whole gotta, time. You got to give me lyrics that are good for this Today. story. It's the fire elemental. <laughs> and we're going to bang her. That's it. <laughs> that, was the song. Wait, wait. it. that was your lyrics for the great love song? Yeah. Also, I weird. wasn't you know on I'm that not, yet. You know I'm not into group sex when it comes to Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Too bad. We're here. You seen I need at least three sentences to your love song. All right. He stretches it out. <laughs> it's like a hike. It's <laughs> a hot love story. Stop there. And then you hear the goblins. Love story. <laughs> With silver cock and his hot lady elemental. Lady elemental. <laughs> Lady I Elemental mean, doesn't up, rhyme bro. with silver cock, but I gotta try anyway. <laughs> and they're gonna make babies. I'm like, going over to and we're. <laughs> 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 Is there a reason to get in our lyrics? The goblins are all chiming in in like backup <laughs> vocals. You got triangles, you got cowbells. Right, and then, and then I go into the. It's hot loving. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see? As the fire it's really is warm coming at you, like Andrew, a like fire feet. bursting out of her hands, she looks at you. She has no mouth, it's just eyes, but the eyes begin to look at you longingly. Right. Come on, <laughs> baby, meet that glance. <laughs> it's hot loving, it's hot loving. This is going to bring a whole new definition to burning. She <laughs> begins to encircle you. You so guys just see nothing but a fire elemental around Andy. All right, there, give her some room. And about a, a minute later, <laughs> and a, about a minute later, she dissipates at his feet and goes oh, back oh, into the oh, lava. Oh, it's like five minutes. <laughs> She's the one that can't last. Oh, all right, yeah. all right, that's fine. About I'm a minute that later, that she dissipates down, leading back into the molten lava. Andy's clothes are all burned off. Nice. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> I forgot he was even wearing clothes to begin. God, that thing is shiny. <laughs> <laughs> That was one hell of a smell. And I pick up my robe of useful shit that I took off. <laughs> <laughs> and the goblin metal Cindy, or what we call it, little Debbie. Little Debbie. I can't believe you just. What did you do? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> a gentleman never kisses and tells. Except all of your songs. Although, 
Hey, I'm known said- to bang and discuss. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> It might take 20 minutes describing (laughs) every sensual pleasure. It takes 20 minutes to describe the one. Most of the goblins are sitting there like. (laughs) And I'm just like. (laughs) (laughs) Course screw? (laughs) Oh my God. I'm writing diagrams out, (laughs) handing them out like pamphlets. You're all warmed up by the fire nearby. And beyond (laughs) the forge, you see another cave. Little Debbie's like, from what the Iron Golem told me, because I let him talk without skipping his dialogue, Mm. there was the cooling pits, the forge, and then the treasure trove, where the ignition forge is at. I'm just amazed you guys could do with that awful voice he was using. (laughs) The weirdly robotic one? Yeah, it didn't make any sense. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! You wore out? I'm exhausted after watching that. (laughs) Not me, I could go all night. As you guys well, walk go into the, the final room, now. we'll say you guys did a trap check and the whole nine yards. Okay. Standing in front of you is a 20-foot tall door. The door is inlaid with gems. It's got like these weirdly magnificent like etchings of fire oh coming up God, on each side of it. Weirdly it's just, and it's got gold it's bands. A really amazingly etched door. <laughs> so the left of the door, you see a cave and you feel a cool air blowing in from the outside. Is that the exit? I look <laughs> above, I see exit signs. <laughs> we gotta restart the forge first. Yep. <sighs> I got a plan. I thought you just did. Nice. Well, technically, did my banging restart the forge? <laughs> no. Oh, no. All right, so how I look around to try and figure out how exactly the, what part of the forge needs to be banged. <laughs> banged as well as re In this room, you just see the door. Okay. We gotta go in the I think door. we got to go through the door. Little Debbie. So this is the part where we're supposed to play the greatest song ever to open the door. Don't you guys? I don't have the did, greatest song. Did you skip song, that part of the, of the tutorial? But we do too. have well, the tribute. All right. Go ahead, guys. Let's see if you are the greatest band <laughs> Actually, ever. Actually, yeah. You know no, what? We, we discussed this. We're doing a collaboration. Yeah. Thought we were collaborating. Nobody listens to me when I drunkenly ramble. What did you say? Exactly. <laughs> and I immediately start playing. <laughs> All right, roll performance, but you have six backups, so you're going to get double advantage. Each of you has a, du- a backup. With double you. secret advantage. Uh, I got a net 20. So okay. 25. I got a 20. Well, yeah, let's F advantage, so it could you know be what? higher. This isn't just a tribute. This 21. is the song that they make a tribute <laughs> for. 24. All right, it's going to count as long as Dan gives me a three sentence song Not- about opening the door. <laughs> No, I got this. I got this. Hold okay. On. Spread your doors wide. <laughs> Let us inside. <laughs> okay. 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 Right? right. All right. Finish it off strong. And then we will ignite. Yes. <laughs> Love the it. The doors swing open slowly. <sighs> coming out towards you. But as they're opening, the darkness inside, you see two glowing eyes light up. The doors swing open even further, and standing there is an iron golem twice the size of the two at the top. Timmy? (laughs) It's got no head on it, as its head is about 10 feet away from its body. I figured out how to ignite it. (laughs) We take the head and put it on the body. Done. Go for it. (laughs) Go for it, Mr. Mayhem. I'm not sleeping with that one. Why? (laughs) That's how we solve everything. (laughs) Behind it is what appears to be a simple forge with a dancing fire elemental trapped outside, like a tiny one, not Baby? the, not, not oh, the one. <laughs> sorry. Right. And it looks like the head is keeping the small fire elemental from entering the forge. Guys, like, I figured it out. <laughs> what is that? I'm going to use mage hand to move the head. How heavy is the head? The head then speaks. Ah. You have awoken the Iron Golem King. Oh, is you're the you? king? Prepare to be smited. Hold on, is that you? Are you the Iron Golem King? That, that is I. Okay, just <laughs> make sure. We have several questions, actually. <laughs> your, your people are suffering on the top realm. And I am the cause of it. Y- yeah. Yeah, he seems... No, that's, I think he's proud of it. That's, <laughs> that's what we're I saying. No, 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 he seems like that's what he wants. Oh. Yeah. And that's our cliffhanger. Why? Wait, I want to talk to him some more. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Dungeons and Ale. Next time is going to be the first fight they've had in a long time. Unless nah, we'll get Andy it. can gonna, bang his way out of it. We're going to get out of this. Just one. like in real life. I think I'm going to have to plan quite a bit more past the Iron Golem King. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to get more of this. And what is Dan doing? I'm just realizing that our pacifist uh, werewolf has a boat. head. Holding a decapitated yeah. head is yeah. his foot on like a skull yep. and is holding a heart, I think. And is also a female. And female. He acknowledged that like four sessions ago. Yes. And now I'm acknowledging it again. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time right here. Duh. <laughs> Secret tunnel. <laughs>